our guest picker right now on ABC, Ohio State, Michigan, football on ESPN and ESPN2. Enjoy your football Saturday. ESPN's presentation of college football is presented by Cars.com. Welcome to Iowa City for a contest with VCS Bowl implications as the Hawkeyes host Minnesota on Senior Day in their Big Ten regular season finale. Hi everybody, Dave Pash and Bob Greasy, and if Iowa wins, Bob, it'll have ten victories and a very good shot at a VCS at-large berth. Well, they'll be going to a bowl, and it, uh, if they win, they'll be going to a little bit better bowl than possibly not. Maybe the Orange Bowl, maybe the Fiesta Bowl, but both, in either place they go, any place they go, it's going to be warm weather for sure. Meanwhile, Richard freshman quarterback James Vandenberg will make his second start. We were here a couple of weeks ago against Northwestern when he had to come into the game because of an injury to Ricky Stanzi. Vandenberg and the Hawkeyes ended up losing that game, but he played very well on the road in Columbus last week as Iowa lost in overtime. And, of course, he took all the snaps with the number ones last week and this week. Talking to Kirk Ferentz, he says he really likes this young man. The only thing he doesn't have is experience. Iowa has won the toss and is elected to receive. Eric Elstad boots it away. Johnson Kulianas will let it go into the end. Who missed a couple of games with an ankle injury but was back last week for the Hawkeyes. Vandenberg, a long throw, hits Johnson Kulianos. He's wrapped up immediately by Mike. Made a lot of big plays this year. Johnson Kulianos averaging over 18 yards a catch. McNutt better than 21 yards a reception. Robinson trying to power forward will come up just short of the first down. As Simone. Second in the Big Ten in total tackles. Here's a big third down and short. Robinson's going to get it as he runs over four times. Tenth in total offense, so not great numbers for a team that was 9-0 at one point. They've been winning with defense and key plays on offense as Trey Strauss. So first down for Iowa from the 45. Robinson. And he gets knocked down after about three. Cedric McKinnon. Two linebackers right behind him. Somebody jumped the flag down. Robinson with a huge hole to the outside. Robinson cuts it back. An ankle tackled inside the 30 by Royston. Gain of 26. <laughs> and gained 74 yards on 20 carries at Ohio State. He'll get it again to the right. Another big hole. Near the first down at the 16th. Jewel Hampton, who tore his ACL and is out for the year. Green now in the NFL with the Jets. Robinson straight on. Royston's got him. Still a gain of about three or four. Fourth on the depth chart in the spring. Wager was fifth. Here's Robinson again, already 50 yards on this drive, and nothing doing this time. Stood up by Gary Clinched. The Big Ten automatic bid to a BCS bowl game, likely the Rose Bowl. Play clock winding down to two. Pass play. Johnson Kulianos couldn't hang on to it. Or try. And he's got it. They, you would think that would count for something in the eyes of the Orange Bowl, the Fiesta Bowl. Here's Stoudemire on the return. He's a dangerous return man if he can get to the outside. Every coach we've talked to that's played against Minnesota. Maybe be a run play to freshman Kevin Whaley. Nothing. Good play by Hard Five touchdown game against Michigan State. Then he comes back with a 10 for 21 effort and less than 100 yards against South Dakota State as that pass is pulled in. Passing yards, attempts, and completions. Got a group up here trying to confuse the defense. Weber flushed out by Klug and a good catch on the ground. Centers on the year. True freshman Kevin Whaley in the backfield this time. Whaley trying to find a hole, not there. Troy Johnson here. Weber gonna go deep and he overthrew his receiver incomplete. 
He was trying for two games of the concussion. They lost Paul Chaney earlier this year to an ACL. He was their best return man. Sandeman will let this bounce into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. As with a 3 0 lead. This is their second offensive series. And the other freshman, Brandon Wager, picks up about four yards on first down as we check him with the restate. All right, Reese here. Second down and five. Wager bows forward for about three. Pretty interesting that if Purdue. He's a lot better team this year. Wager on third down and two, not going to get it. Down at the 28, Kim Roy. Question, when was the last time they ever played? Only Pac-10 team not to play in Pasadena. Brian Allen will field it and return it to about the 38. DCS at large because of how well they travel and their great fan base. Adam Weber to throw on first down, takes off. And he's not going to make it back to the line of scrimmage. Sacked by Ballard and... Whaley on second and 11. He's got speed. And he's to the 45 yard line before AJ. It's the Floyd of Rosedale. Started 1935. Here's third and three for Minnesota. Weber going to try to pick it up with his feet, and he's going to be close. Plowing forward, trying to push the pile past the marker, and it looks like he got it. Last year went to a bowl and likely going this year. Only the seventh time Minnesota's gone to back to back bowls as Weber goes deep downfield and he's got a man. And the throw just off the fingertips of Deja. Marquise Gray back in at quarterback. He'll throw and that pass off the mark as we check him with a restart. Wow. 21 zip heels. Meanwhile, third and 10 for Minnesota. Trailing 3 0. Weber quarterback Marquise Gray is also in the game and Weber going to throw it to him and Gray slips one tackle banged out of play at the 44 yard. Last kick by Howden sailed into the end zone. Sandeman going to let this one go and this one will also go into the end zone. The land grant trophy for Michigan State Penn State it's a pretty good sized trophy. They'll play today on ABC 330 Eastern time as Morris cannot. Last 10 win season was in 04. They won, won 10 games 2002, 2003, and 2004. Robinson into the secondary and near the first down marker before Therrett makes the stop. One a lot. Third and one. Robinson knocked down, undercut, short of the marker by Ryan Collada. Second time that Donahue, who is a Ray Guy semifinalist, or that goes to the best punter in college football. Short kick. And Kirk Marquise Gray in a quarterback. And the freshman from Indianapolis looking to run. And the hole closes at the 45. Eastern. And it's in the 50s today. I take credit for this bringing this weather up from Florida. That was interesting. Incompletion. That was a pass. And a touchdown. This week, they don't look any better. That was Jed Fish, first year offensive coordinator for Minnesota. Here's third and seven play action for Weber. Everybody covered Weber takes off and he's got the first down and he runs over a defender and and Gray will run. He bounces it to the outside to the 41 for four yards. Here's Reese. All right Reese it's three nothing here. Hawkeyes on top and a little trickery but a pair of flags down here's Stoudemire and he's going to be close to the first down at the 35. That was a direct snap and then a reverse. Well they had Adam Weber lined up at the flanker and you had two guys moving in. Touchdown against South Dakota State. They had to settle for three field goals in the red zone last week as Weber throws incomplete off the hands of his in third and 11 for the Gophers early second quarter. Minnesota's bowl eligible at six and five. They'd love to finish the Big Ten season at 500. They're three and four in the league as that pass is pulled in at the 25 for a first down. From the Iowa 24, first down Minnesota. Here's Whaley. Big hole. Whaley picks up the first down to the 12. First down from the 12, Gray. And he's going to lose yardage. Brought down by Ballard. Loss of one. Both linebackers. They fumbled the snap. Weber on the exchange couldn't handle it. Iowa's got it. It's hard to 
enough to move down the field as an offensive unit without trying to stop yourself. You're going against a defense that's pretty doggone good. He never even got the ball. And Bruce Davis recovers it for the Hawkeyes. That's horrible if you're Minnesota. Yeah, you, those things have got to be automatic. You can't have that happen. Maybe once every six or seven games, you can have a, a fumbled snap from center. 27th Iowa takeaway. They did not have any against Ohio State last week, and they still managed to get to overtime before losing. Strauss pulls it in a lot. But Vandenberg's going to be the guy. Stanzi will probably come back and be the leader, but you're going to have some depth at that position. Vandenberg creating room with his feet and throwing in the double coverage incomplete. Back to the studio now and Reese gets the Vandenberg to Johnson Koulianos on second down and good job by Minnesota. They wrap him up for minimal. Here's a blitz. Sherrills and Vandenberg gets away from him and he's in trouble and down he goes. Freshman mistake there from his end zone. Minnesota got close to blocking the last one. They'll set up the return here. Allen from his 35 after a great punt. Allen tripped up but stays on his feet. Allen to the outside. And Donahue, the punter, finally gets him at the th situation where the Gophers need to come up with something after failing and turning it over in the red zone the last time they were down there. Whaley. Bruce Davis grabs him at the point of attack. And Little Caesars Pizza Bowl is a likely destination. Although if Iowa goes to a BCS game, it could be headed to a better bowl. As Weber just throws it in the dirt. That's got to be grounded. There's the flag. Number one, it didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. And number two, there's nobody in the air. Go first today. Weber in trouble. Weber on the move. Weber going nowhere, and he fumbled the ball. It's recovered by Johnson. Another Minnesota turnover. Amari Spave forced the fumble. Well, when you have a when you have a busted play, you don't want to make it worse than it is. You're not going to pick up the first down. Just get down and don't turn it over. You make a bad play even worse by losing the football. Six. Robinson. Through a hole. And a first down to the 43. On 800 yards for the year already. The most rushing yards ever by an Iowa freshman. Vandenberg on the run. They love how he throws when he's on the move. And he finds Johnson Culianos for 13 yards. Now he just picked up Culianos way too late. He should have given him the ball a lot earlier, but like I said, he's a young kid just making his second start. There's a lot of things to learn. Stanzi says, I've been there. I know what the situation is. Fake to the right. This is one of their bread and butter plays right here. You look deep to McNutt, number seven, and then you come back to the guy crossing, crossing route who was Johnson Culianos. <laughs> Robinson taken down for a loss at the 30-yard line. At a BCS Bowl is an at-large team, depending on the outcome of today's game, as that pass was nearly picked off by Simone. Give it right back. Here they come. And Vandenberg airing it out. Jump ball. And it's intercepted in the end zone by Sherrills. It'll come out to the 20 for Minnesota. That's just a big play by Sherrills, the cornerback. Sherrills is only 5'11 and 170 pounds. He's got Culianos all by himself. It was an all-out blitz, and the defensive back comes up with it. Third and 12, and so Minnesota takes over on its 20. Kevin Whaley will get the call. And a good pickup of five yards on first down. Dumped by these guys in the system, and I think they need to lose a little weight. Weber to throw. 
McKnight with the catch, and then he lost it. It's incomplete. Incomplete. Here's Reese. Football. Meanwhile, Minnesota, third down and five. Play clock at three. Weber throws way behind Stoudemire. Prater had a chance. Of the year. This is 12. They should be used to this by yeah. now. That punt off the side of the foot of Howden. Let's see where that went out of bounds. The official still running at the 40. He stops at the 39. Iowa football at the Minnesota 40. First down and 10. Johnson Culianos makes the catch for a gain of about seven. A certain type of defense they want him to play. Instead of wristbands, they do the numbers. Brandon Wager, true freshman running back, will get it here on second down and short. Nowhere to go. He's going to lose yardage. Eh? Here they amazing? come. Here's a blitz. Vandenberg goes down. Gary Tinsley. Terrific field position. The ball was at the 40-yard line. Initially on that drive. We've got a 15-yard punt. On 3 nothing despite all those mistakes. Play action for Weber. Got McKnight near the sideline. And thrown out of play hard at the... Two lost fumbles. One three and out. Marquise Gray comes running into the backfield. They're going to hand it to him. He's looking to throw. He's the backup quarterback, and he throws an interception. E.J. Eads with his fourth pick of the year. Another Minnesota turnover. Senior day for A.J. Eads makes a big play. Yeah, a little bit earlier. Trick play by Minnesota resulted in two guys moving. This one, little trick play. One quarterback hands to the other quarterback. He tries to throw on the run, never sees number 49 Eads. Bob, at what point do you just tear up the part of the playbook that has a trick plays and put it in the fire? Vandenberg rolling out. Going deep for McNutt, and it's incomplete. Holding defense number one. Ten-yard penalty for the previous spot. Automatic first down. Here's Robinson. Dropped at the 27-yard line. Three-minute mark of the second quarter. Iowa on top three, nothing, and a second and eight. From the 27 of Minnesota, they roll Vandenberg out again. And that one's on the money. Caught for a first down. Here's Wager. And plows forward for minimal gain. And meanwhile, Johnson Culianos now. Maybe this play or the next, because that's what's stopped them the last couple of downs. Vandenberg finds Johnson Culianos inside the five. Tackle. Wager on first down, and he's short. Brett Morris is the up man. It's Wager again, up top, and this time across. Touchdown, Iowa. I'm talking about you don't want to take a timeout you want to burn timeout extra point is blocked well, that's maybe that's what, why you want to call yeah, a timeout. tell him how to block the extra point that's good <laughs> two yeah he had to because he lost the, the throttle at the bottle with Mark May last week and he pit Notre Dame game as Weber gets away and then throws it downfield and it's nearly intercepted again Greenwood I got 20 on the year Bennett goes down in the backfield. I was got a couple timeouts left. Body in Bold, Bold Kingdom knows that. Howden almost got that blocked. Here's Sandeman. And he's taken down at the 35 yard line with 16 seconds remaining. And here he's going to do the same thing. I don't blame him. He's got a young quarterback with not much experience. Fans don't like. Start trying these little tricks. Well, look at that. 22 possessions in a row. 105 plays with out an offensive touchdown. Weber's pass batted in the air and incomplete. Quarterback Weber had two fumbles and both those came in Iowa territory. And Weber throws high that time for McKnight. He was.
Weber in trouble. And he gets rid of it and nearly picked off by Spivak. Three and out. Out to punt Sandeman to return. Good kick. And Sandeman fair catches inside his own 35. Texas. That's how the kick continues. 10-yard penalty. Replay fourth down. Iowa almost blocked it again. Sandeman from his 45. And brought down immediately. He plays next week at Cincinnati. And Wisconsin goes to Hawaii, but in a couple of weeks. And we'll be in Cincinnati for that key game for the Bearcats. Wager on first down stood up at the line of scrimmage by Lee Campbell. And that I was a surprise. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Start oh, for sure. Best in school history. Lost their last two in part because of an injury to Ricky Stanzi here at home against Northwestern as Wager can't handle the pass. At the line of scrimmage, you raise your hands, everybody's quiet. But you still have to get it done. Here's a blitz. And Vandenberg gets tattooed. Check those corners out. If they're creeping in, they'll probably go to blitz. Third Minnesota sack. Donahue. His punt takes a Minnesota. That's what they're playing for today, among other things, as Minnesota runs on first down. Whaley trying to pick a hole. And it's getting closed by Anger and Claybourne. Got to have nine wins and finish in the top 14 of the BCS standings. Iowa already has nine wins, but with a loss, would probably fall out as Claiborne drops Weber for a second time. They've had third and ten plus today. Weber in trouble again. And he finds a man, but short of the first down is Brian Allen. Four to be exact against South Dakota State. Sandeman back to receive. Short punt, fair caught at the 45 yard. He's got to be more aware of that blitz. And Vandenberg being chased here and throws incomplete. That's good. Redshirt freshman from Keokuk, Iowa, second and 10. And he's got Moyaki wide open for a good part of his career, but Kirk Ferentz still feels he's one of the best tight ends he's coached. Here comes a blitz from the top. Iowa 0 for its last seven on third down, but they're going to pick this. No, Johnson Culianos couldn't hang on. It. Punt number 11. And they're caught inside at 10. Allen fielding that. Go to the Lizzie King, go to Iowa. We're starting field position of the day for Minnesota. They haven't done a whole lot offensively when they've had good field position. Whaley to the outside and hammered by Spave and Sash. They're uh, all Big Ten wide receiver injured, not playing. Whaley, no running room. Somehow found a hole and picked up a couple of yards before Eads made. He needs just to go back and rework everything. Got to be careful here on third and six. And Weber throws downfield, incomplete. It looked hard. Well, that's just undisciplined offense by Minnesota. Howden almost got it blocked again. I was getting closer. Sandeman will field it. He bobbled it and covers it up. Well, not a lot of people would have picked Iowa for a co-Big Ten championship. They got a shot if Ohio State loses and Iowa wins today. Wager going to get taken down at the line of straight. Goes undefeated. They'll have a chance unless they finish ahead of TCU. Then they'll get the automatic bid. Is that pass by Vandenberg is pulled in by McNutt. What a... Here it's 9-0 Iowa and a first down for the Hawkeyes. Minnesota blitzing. Vandenberg going for McNutt again. It's overthrown with... Vandenberg with a short setup and he completes it to Strauss. Got a oh, Big Ten change. Like Ten years from now, is it? Oh, yeah, we won the Big Ten title <laughs> in the 9 Vandenberg hit again up the middle by Murray. He's hit from 30 already in this game, had an extra point blocked in the first half, and nails this 45-yard field goal. Stoudemire takes the kick inside the 10. And to the 25, keeps the legs turning, gets an extra couple of yards. Go to, he would say, I'm coming to you, and he would get open and catch the football. Weber to throw on first down. 
finds Hazy out of the backfield. Good play by Eads. Gain of three. Yeah, Decker has missed. Play fake. Weber waiting. Now running. And down he goes at the 31. Hey, film, and you see 416 yards passing and five touchdowns. Yes. Third and five. Weber in trouble again. And the ball comes out. Minnesota recovered it. Ruling on the field was uh, by Weber. He's recovered just one of them. That one right there. As there's contact with the punt. Iowa has been close all day to Howden. Fair caught at the 30. It was uh, Jason White. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Number four on the defense. 15 yards. Spot. Well, that's one Automatic way. First down. One way to get a first down. Their first. Gray is in the game at quarterback now. He'll hand it off, and Bennett straight on gets about five or six. And then it was field goals. Weber kind of hits Stoudemire in the slant and bends. Early I think 70. it was 73. Yeah. It was the last time this late in the year you had this many unbeatens. Third and five. They've missed on their last seven third down conversions. Weber has time to throw here, and he's got McKnight for a first down into Iowa territory. Twelve yard times they were in Iowa territory, they turned it over. Gray in a quarterback. He'll run it. And Gray finds a hole. To the 35, he got eight. Brought down. He did a good job up front moving the pile. Weber back in. No run Whaley on second and two, and he's not going to get it. Claiborne. Hazy, the up back, gets the carry, and he did not get it. Picked up a fourth and one earlier in the game. Hazy, the up back, they run the same play they did on third down. I don't think he got it. That's Interesting that they would run that play again. They yeah, run yeah. it all day. You're not going to move those guys up front. That defensive line and the linebackers for Iowa. You're not going to move those guys. That's a third turnover by Minnesota in Iowa territory today. That's Ballard 46, Kluve, Anger in the middle, Claiborne, Bins. Yeah, the third and a, a yard, fourth and a yard. If you can't, if you can't pick up a yard, you know, you know, you know, you're not going to win this ball game unless you get a turnover because your offense can't pick up first downs. Yeah, what are the defensive players thinking? Hey, we, we've yeah. held these guys to one touchdown. Defense has played well. Brandon Wager, good second effort to get three or four yards before he's brought. BCS Bowl, then Minnesota could maybe move up and go to a bigger bowl game as the flag comes in. Little Caesars. Ball start with 60 offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Same well, about in the, the uh, Little Caesars. That choose the teams. And normally, you know, you get first pick, second pick, third pick, fourth pick. They're not necessarily based on standing, says Vandenberg and Johnson Culianos not on the same page. Eight of the 11 years in a BCS, in the BCS Bowls. Play fake on third and 11. Blitz coming and down goes Vandenberg again. Colado gets. And the Hawkeyes have to punt. Donahue kicking it to Brian Allen. Fair caught by Allen at the 30. Yard. There's always good guys and there's bad guys. I mean, there's, I mean, you, I always wanted a strict disciplinarian for a head coach. So I never had a problem with a coach getting on a player. Weber's pass is low, but ruled. Some action, I think, is is uh, is right and, and probably forthcoming. Gray in the game at quarterback. They'll hand it off to Hazy, the fullback. And he carried it nine times last week. That's his third rush of very good coming into the day on third down and three for 14 for the game. Weber flushed out. And he's got a man along the sideline, but it's incomplete. Kuznia roughed the last time. And. Iowa setting up the return. Sandeman back. They'll let this one bounce. 
And it looked like he might have been touched by Minnesota. Fourth quarter as Floyd makes his first appearance of the day. They fumble the exchange and Minnesota's got the ball. It's recovered by Jawan Edwards as Iowa turns it over inside its 30-yard line. These are just things you cannot let happen. Young quarterback in the ball game. Looks like he pulled out a little bit too soon. That's Eubanks. He's a fifth-year senior, the center. The started 32 games, snapping it to a young redshirt freshman quarterback. And boy, Bob, if Minnesota can't get any points here. That's exactly the thought I've got. They're and not going to get any. And look at that. Three drives into Iowa territory. A couple inside the 30. And they've got two fumbles recovered by Iowa and one loss. Uh, one fourth down they didn't convert as they dump it off to Bennett. He's to the 20 yard line near the first down as we check in with the leading Minnesota 12 nothing in the Big Ten regular season finale. A flag down a little trickery as they pitch to Kuznia and he picks up the first down. But let's wait and see what the penalty. There is no foul for legal formation on the play. There were four men in the backfield. That's the first one that worked. Raised next to him. We'll see who they snap it to. They snap it to Weber. He's going to throw to Gray out of the backfield. And a good play by Spave. And they'll spot, as it is, second and eight. Whaley in the backfield. They'll pitch it to him. Whaley's got a lane. And stepped. Weber rolling out. Weber going end zone. And it is broken up. But a flag down. Stoudemire defended by Prater. Best in the field. 28 defense. Foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, the ball will be placed at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. Yeah, he's... Gray will run. And not going anywhere. Pat Hagan. Under the right. Bennett can't get away from Eads. It'll be third and go. Weber to the end zone. Jump ball. Prater made the play that time with a foot injury. This is where you miss Decker. Weber waiting. Weber taking off. Not going to get in. Minnesota turns it over again on downs. Weber was down back at the seven yard line. Fourth turnover by Minnesota and Iowa Territory. Complete domination. If Minnesota wanted to do it, they should have thrown early on first or second down to their tight ends in running situations. Minnesota turning it over on downs. And Iowa takes over inside its 10. And Rager gets a couple of yards. And if Minnesota is going to a territory today. And the Hawkeyes have let him hang around. As Vandenberg making his second career start throws it complete. It's third. Iowa leading this one 12 0. Third down and eight. Wager. And he'll come up short of the first down by a couple of yards. Tinsley can have him go out and just relax and get away from it. Short punt that's fair caught by Brian Allen, the number one pick in the NFL draft next year. A lot of defensive linemen out there this year. Here's Weber to throw, and he's got Stoudemire. One of their best plays today. Gain of about 14. Here's Reed. Settle for field goal, 10-3 frog. Here, Weber almost throws another interception. Reese Claiborne had his mitts on it, could not come up with it. They tried to set up a screen. Watch 94 here on the left side. He sees this coming all the way. We talked to uh, Claiborne yesterday. Very bright kid. Very enjoyable. 6'3", 280-pound junior. He's recruited by Florida late after he had already committed to Iowa. Enjoyable as any defensive lineman can be. <laughs> for a quarterback. Marquise Gray in a quarterback. He'll run left. And good cutback. Finding a lane, getting to the 30-yard line. Brought down by Decker will not, but all the other receivers are freshmen and sophomores, so they'll all be back. Weber on third and three. 
And great play by Minnesota one out of three on fourth down. And they do pick this one up. Stoudemire on the catch. First down to the 22. Under center on first down. Inside the Iowa 25. Play fake. Weber looking for somebody to throw to and he undershoots his fullback. Is he guiding it? Is he thinking too much, Bob? I, I, I think he's been hit too many times. There's that play just to the near side instead of the far side. Take a big long break, about three or four weeks, come back for the bowl game, and then next year start all over again. Fresh, clean the slate. Here's third and ten. Weber going to the end zone. Broken up. Really intercepted by Sash. Fourth and ten for Minnesota. They've got to get to the 12-yard line. Weber going to get hit by Claiborne. He gets away. Weber just throws it up and incomplete. Another. Wager. Not much, maybe two. Give a... Everything worked out, but you've got to have confrontation and conversation to see how everybody's feeling. Vandenberg trying to hit Johnson Curlianos and the pass is there for a first down as we check point game. Iowa on top. Hawkeyes win and an Ohio State win. And uh, Iowa will finish in second place in the Big Ten as Wager gets the call. And he's to the 41 yard line. Gary Tinsley on the tackle. Unable to get in. Iowa's defense has played well again. They've done that all year, and that defensive line has been terrific. And you got to give credit to the Norm Parkers and the defensive coach here at home and lost at Ohio State they're, in overtime. They're great theater. They keep every game close. Wager caught down by Kalak. Mm -hmm. exactly right. So they're ranked ahead of Boise State, so they would give the, pre the, the preference over Boise State. Hockey O'Mara is coming to the game and running back. Third down and six. And O'Mara not going to pick it up. Brought down. Iowa trying to melt the clock. Again, Minnesota still is not out of the game. Allen shakes a couple of men and goes down to the 25. That with a bronze pit. Weber pumps. He's got, got a couple it. of men downfield, and he overshot Brian Allen. Yes, bowl. Then Minnesota could move up a spot for a bowl game. Weber's pass dropped again. Third and ten for Minnesota. Weber has time. There's his tight end, Tal Arnett. Big pass play out near midfield. Catch over the middle. Longest play of the day for Minnesota. Went 24 yards on third and ten. Now Weber in trouble. Down he goes. Ball's out. Recovered by Iowa, but they ruled that Weber was down. Sacked by Bat. And it did look like Weber was down. Second and 21. Weber throws behind his intended receiver, Stoudemire. True freshman, you know, Allen, the 81, is a true freshman, but these other guys, something's not working in the passing game. Weber going to throw short to Kuznia, and Kuznia gets to midfield, so he gets. Weber and he had a man open not on the same out. So they got three of their top wide receivers that are not playing. Vandenberg takes a knee. <laughs> Senior day here in Iowa City. Pat Anger recently named a Bronco Nagurski trophy finalist. A.J. Eads also a senior only two seniors that start on defense Tony Moyaki tight end who probably has an NFL career ahead of him seniors that start they get they got a lot of guys back next year Iowa wins its 10th game of the season fourth time in school history they've got 10 regular season wins and they'll play for win number 11 perhaps in a BCS bowl game as an at-large team. And they win the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy.
for the second straight year, shutting out Minnesota for the second straight year. Two or three guys are carrying that thing, too. Today's outstanding player of the game brought to you by Remax. It's AJ Eads, a big interception on Weber, and also getting a sack and seven tackles in the game. Remax, outstanding player. His final home game is a successful one. 12 0. Iowa beats Minnesota. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. ESPN College Football Scoreboard is up next. For Bob Greasy and our entire crew, I'm Dave Pash. Iowa Hawkeyes improved to 10-2. They finish 6-2 in the Big Ten as they beat Minnesota. The Gophers fall to 6-6, 3-5 in the conference. So long from Iowa City. 12-0 Hawkeyes.